good morning to you this morning. Just had a really rough night overnight over in the Delta. This is a twit pic sent to us from Jay Thomas over near Cleveland. This is a picture of a wall cloud being illuminated by a lightning strike. And that's a very impressive picture to be able to get both of these features in one picture. Very nice twit pic. We really appreciate you sending those in. Now this is what's really unfortunate from last night. A tornado did move through Cleveland last night pretty much removing the entire wall of this Sears store on Highway 61 there in Cleveland. Uh, just really bad damage as well as over there at Walmart. Now, thankfully, all of that is pushed off into the uh, eastern part of the state. However, it has weakened a good bit. Of course, like right now, all of this is just shower activity, very light showers for the most part in northern Clay County near Montpelier, back towards Houston, just very light showers. And if you're driving along Highway 45 between Oklahoma back towards West Point, those are just light showers, and all of those are pushing off to the east. If we can zoom out just a little bit, uh, things are just, uh, yeah. Yeah, things are just really pushing off to the east, so really that's just a lot of shower activity, but nothing really big going on now. Uh, clouds are hanging around the area. Now, right now in Columbus, it isn't raining or anything, but we're at 72 degrees with a dew point at 66 right now. Now, those clouds are you can see here on the satellite and radar, those are really just hanging along this cold front that's stretching across much of the state. We have a few showers, like I said, popping along that front, but all of that's drifting off to the south. Now, temperatures, you can see really there's a good gradient here from the northern half of the state to the southern half. 65 right now in Tunica. As you move south, a little bit warmer. Well, 64 in Greenwood and 66 in Greenville, but then once you get south of that front, you can see we're in the lower 80s in Jackson, upper 70s in Meridian, 78, and then we're right here, right in the middle in Columbus and the Golden Triangle. Now, that front will shift to the south, and it will become a stationary front as it moves on south. Those rain chances will shift more to the south, and then over the next couple of days, once that has kind of settled down, there will be rain chances for the southern half of the state, but over the nor northern half, it will be nice, and so we look forward to that over the next few days. Now, for tonight, We'll get, or for today, we'll get up to about 80 degrees with a northwest wind at 7 miles per hour. It will be cloudy. We'll have a chance of a shower here and there. As I've already said, a few are pushing off to the east. Now for tonight, we'll get up to or down to about 56 degrees with a north-northwest wind at 5 miles per hour. It will be mostly cloudy, and a few showers are still possible with that stationary front hanging into the area. And then for tomorrow, we'll get up to about 82 degrees, a little bit warmer. We'll have a few, uh, maybe a break in the cloud here and there, but, but we will have a possible shower here and there. Now, for the rest of the week, we'll get up to about 85 degrees on Wednesday. We'll still keep that chance of rain in here on Tuesday. And then we will pretty much be in the mid to lower 80s until Saturday when temperatures drop down to about 76 for a high, and we do look forward to that. Now, lows will stay pretty much in the 50s. We'll have to keep an eye on as those uh, temperatures start to drop. We'll look forward to that. I'm meteorologist Joel Young, and this has been your Campus Connect forecast. Have a good one.